Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everyone who is looking forward to learn TOGAF. Now, this is a short introduction to the TOGAF video so that you understand that how to trace through the course, right? I have two different levels. One is uh, TOGAF level 1 and TOGAF level 2. Now, how I have constructed this course is everyone and anyone who don't have any idea about TOGAF, they can start with the level 1 where I have described a short course where I am talking about how to prepare for TOGAF, right? And then onwards you will see about TOGAF level 1 and in TOGAF level 1 you will be knowing about the terminologies, artifacts, how to prepare and remember those things. Uh, then the ADM cycles, the whole of ADM cycles starting from the preliminary to vision to your business architecture then you go towards the information architecture where the data architecture application architecture will be again subdivided then you go through opportunity solutions then you go to the migration planning then governance then requirement management then change management so the whole thing you will come to know in level one how things works and what are the terminologies the architects do that is what I am teaching in level. Now anyone who is an aspiring architect who want to grow himself as a solution architect or enterprise architect or someone who is already into the enterprise architecture area, they can also do together. But the preparation, how to learn about is something you should definitely uh, get this in this particular course in level one. After level 1, what I have done is about level 2. In level 2, what I am doing, how you will be applying what you have learned in level 1. Now, if you see, if I if I just go with uh, concepts and uh, reading through the book, that does not make sense. When you are actually practicing enterprise architecture, you need to see a case study. In level 1, it is more of the terminologies and the exam is also in the terminologies part. But in level 2, it is more of applying the TOGAP principles, the architecture principles, the enterprise principles, the security principles and then only you will be able to pass. And to do that, what I have done is I have constructed this course in a case study basis. Now you guys have to just go and look through the course starting from how to prepare yourself for TOGAP till the very end where I am talking about applying to get in level 2 so first you can do a registration or you can join a member for level 1 and later you can migrate to level 2 once you are finished with the level 1 courses with the terminology specially now uh, this is uh, less than two dollars for your subscription and it is the cheapest one available for any to have courses in the world at the moment what i'm saying is you have the option to cancel the subscription anytime you want just go through the course once and you will realize that how I have constructed is more from the real world examples. You as an architect, I am working as an architect from past 20 years. So unless and until you put the real world examples and then start looking into it. If you say view or viewpoints, if you talk about enterprise continuum, if you talk about architecture repository bluntly, that does not give you it, it's not history, right? It is an architecture which we are reading. So, to understand architecture, my viewpoint was to construct a course which will give you an end-to-end -end view. I will also give some, uh, I will show you this course was also published in Udemy earlier. Now I have taken it off. I have more than 10,000 students whom I have prepared for TOGAP. I will also show you the level of reviews I got in level 1 and level 2 in Udemy and these days I am also getting a lot of reviews in YouTube. So just go through the reviews. If you are okay, uh, you can subscribe to level 1 and later you can also subscribe to level 2 if you like level 1. So uh, and if somebody who is already an architect who has a background, I will suggest them to go to level 2 and have a look at how I have constructed applying the logic of business architecture, data architecture, technology architecture, application architecture is very important, right? Now, if somebody already knows up to certain extent, they can go and check level two. But I will still recommend 
start from level 1 you know the terminologies of program and then migrate to level 2 it will be easy journey for you so let's have a quick look in uh, the reviews I was talking about the kind of content I have created and how I have organized that all I want to give you a details a small snapshot so that you know where to register how to register what you need to do is you just need to click on that join button once you click on the join button you will be able to see the courses now this one I am discontinuing this one is TOGAF level 1 and this one is TOGAF level 2. Now if anyone wants to join TOGAF level 1, they need to click on this and then click on join. Or if you are going subscription for TOGAF level 2, you need to click on TOGAF level 2 and then you need to join. Right? Once you click that, you will be able to uh, get some instruction from the YouTube and you can proceed exactly how youtube purchase works right so i will not continue that part of the story now you just need to click on buy and then uh, it will show you how to proceed with that right so i am just closing this and let me show you what is there in level one course so in level one i have constructed the course so that anyone who is not aware about togaf also will be able to understand TOGAF okay so you first start with this one where you will understand how to pass TOGAF and learn TOGAF framework and that is what I have described in this particular section then a general introduction uh, on the TOGAF side and then there is a difference between TOGAF 10 and 9 which I have kept in the same course so that you know when you are learning TOGAF 9 you are not missing too many things of TOGAF 10 as well just to make you aware okay then uh, importance of architecture and architectural model and framework in general then purpose and benefits of enterprise architecture why TOGAF what kind of architecture TOGAF deals with what an architecture framework is eligibility requirements for TOGAF TOGAF development overview the basic difference between 9.1 and 9.2 the structural differences then about the definitions in a high level what are the TOGAF conformance requirements is also very important you need to know how uh, this conformance requirement will be changed and how to read through the book or how to go and search items inside TOGAF is what I have discussed here then you will see the phase uh, level 1 where all the terminologies you will be uh, aware about then about level 1 ADM phases this is just the phases uh, where I will be describing uh, starting from the preliminary phase uh, to the architecture management phase change management phase then the business architecture phase C phase D a little more in details up to phase H and then the requirement management and uh, the artifacts how to look into the artifacts that TOGAF has provided in the site then I discuss about the level 1 TOGAF enterprise continuum the guidelines and techniques what TOGAF has said the business scenario gap analysis of TOGAF interoperability risk viewpoints enterprise continuum tools and techniques and then I will be talking about the architecture governments uh, governance that's that's all what I will be covering this is just a generic one so you can ignore that uh, for time being uh, the people who don't know anything about TOGAF can start uh, from here as well so this is how you should go through the level 1 course I will shortly show you how the level 1 course uh, uh, reviews are uh, before that for level 2 what you need to do is uh, in the similar pattern uh, you sh should start with TOGAF level 2 uh, what covered in the course this is the first item you should look through you will understand that how I have con I have covered this course then TOGAF 9 case study so there is a case study which I have discussed from the real world and then based on that I have uh, constructed the whole course so introduction to the preliminary what framework is the business goals enterprise architecture principles content framework governance principle architecture partition tailoring the framework means you take TOGAF and then tailor it 
the request for architecture work apply the architecture vision apply the architecture uh, business architecture apply um, information systems where data architecture and uh, the application architecture has been again sub classified then the technology architecture where you will be are uh, uh, means really understanding about the triple rm and trm then about the opportunity and solutions and then the migration planning and that is where it will finish the togaf and there is a conclusion where i have given the artifacts and the diagrams or i mean there are three uh, separate things like a uh, code diagrams matrices uh, that togaf follows and that is what i will be discussing in the last section and once you go through this whole course you will be very good to, and one or twice if you go through the book you are ready to take both level 1 and level 2 or as a combined also you can take so it's all depends upon uh, how you want to take the exam and now let's uh, have a quick look how the course was responded in udemy uh, it uh, this is the udemy and uh, uh, this my course was almost 4.5 rated Uh, and uh, there are few uh, ratings although uh, which is not good but uh, still if you see uh, 5 uh, 4.5 out of 5 uh, is uh, really good and uh, <clears throat> uh, the performance by the course attribute uh, uh, is something you can see clearly over here and there was a lot of five stars i got there were a few which is not so good but i just wanted to show you the ratings were really really good in uh, level 1 course and that's how i ended up uh, adding this course in youtube now and uh, i i would uh, recommend you uh, uh, you will be not able to see this any further because i have taken out that course so if you go to uh, number 2 Uh, there are many many reviews i i really can't go through everything uh, just for your information i wanted to show you uh, that uh, what kind of review i was getting for level 1 and uh, there are uh, people uh, who were vocal also so i can just see that mass expectation and the content is really helpful poster and orbus are really helpful i was enter course in 1.5 so saved some time one correction needed something he has said uh, apart from that um, i don't have much to show uh, i mean i am just uh, quickly hovering through and uh, showing you the how the ratings was coming uh, there were a uh, few ratings who are definitely a uh, course can't be made for everyone there will be people who will not like the course and uh, here in youtube uh, you have an option to cancel the subscription if you don't like but i am pretty sure that uh, you will definitely like it if you are really serious about togaf and uh, uh, that's all uh, for time being i will um, go to now the level 2 and the ratings from level 2 which uh, Uh, this is uh, rated almost 4 uh, out of 5 and then again uh, there were different kind of people and the ratings was uh, given like this in udemy and uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys in details and if you go to the next one like this if i go pages after pages there will be lot of reviews so i don't want to go in details but just to show you the snapshot that how uh, it is looking like uh, i i wanted to show you this uh, reviews uh, from different stakeholders of my courses especially all the students all over the countries all all over the world basically uh, was giving uh, very good feedback so i am sure that you will get a very good learning of uh, togaf if you go through this particular course apart from that today i have created a facebook group so lot of people have questions we all can keep ourselves motivated in togaf and enterprise architecture so that group i have a very honest feeling that we can grow and we can discuss about enterprise architecture in that group uh, in that uh, group i have not kept any authentication at the moment you can directly join the group post your questions i will try to answer most of it sometimes other people who already know who have passed they can share their knowledge in that group so join that facebook group at the same time apart from that i keep posting togaf related videos in this particular channel and you will see 
Togaf 10 also upcoming very soon but at the moment Togaf 10 will take some time to get into the subscription but people as I have shown you the difference between Togaf 9.2 and Togaf 10 at the moment it is very good that you go ahead with Togaf 9.2 and you are very good to take any exams and then you follow through the course it, it's it's just a subscription basis monthly basis you can just finish it in 15 days and then cancel the subscriptions or you can just finish it in a month and cancel the subscription so i don't think anybody in less than two dollars can teach you to gap or enterprise architecture i can bet that this will be a very valuable course and you will always remember that artifacts or any kind of other technology artifacts or questions you have please post me in the group and i will be following up i will be answering those if you need to download something if you need to upload something please go to the group and do that so all of us can keep everyone informed about our to gap decision and enterprise architecture is like this that you finish your to gap certification and the journey starts from there so if you want to practice to gap stay in touch subscribe to my channel and stay in touch with me and there will be a lot of valuable information you will get from this particular channel thanks guys for watching and join me as a member and it will be a valuable experience as well for you and please give a feedback whenever you have some opportunity to give in any platform for me and share these videos across all the people whom you think wants to learn enterprise architecture enterprise architecture should not be very costly to learn right it should be a simple thing you just need to understand you all already know half of the things what i presented here was that how you should think about enterprise architecture in a whole starting from the infrastructure to the application level once you start thinking in the holistic view of enterprise architecture things are much easier and it's easy to break through that and people whoever is coming from whatever background if you have any questions i have a lot of video posted in this particular channel just go through it or if you have still a question please post it in the member section i will be able to answer you as soon as possible thanks guys for watching and uh, see you soon